All right, guys, welcome to another video. I haven't done one in a while, but uh, I wanted to show off the chicken barns, kind of where they're at, um, what's going on with them, why things are the way they are, and why I don't know how it's going to be released or when or stuff like that. So uh, this is just a quick little stuff that I put down. This is not, I'm actually going to start uh, a single player um, series on YouTube just because I haven't posted videos in a while and I haven't been able to get on um, some server play just because of my internet but anyway we're gonna go through the chicken barns here quickly what uh, all kind of how they work and uh, basically what I use to haul chickens is uh, the TLX uh, trailer here uh, made it hold chickens and some of the curtain vans around here in Canada, that's what they haul chickens with. These trailers like this, I've seen a couple on Twitter. And so that's just what I figured I would uh, do up really quickly. Something different than a regular cattle hauler. Because chickens are usually hauled in different stuff for sure. So, uh, Of course they take feed. So there's a feed trigger up above these three bins. Uh, doesn't matter as long as you're somewhere in the vicinity close to the bins. Uh, this barn also holds 20k. I'll show you that here. They take 500,000 liters of feed. So, and chickens are only nine days. They're only nine days. So, they're basically one season. So, like spring. I guess it depends what you do. If you're on three day seasons, it'd be three days. If you're on six day seasons, it'd be six days. I play with nine day seasons, so they're on nine days. So every nine days, you pretty much got to clean your barn out and uh, restock it. So you're going through 500,000 liters of feed. And right now, on Flint Hills, either take wheat, barley, or I believe uh, high moisture corn, I think is what it is. Uh, didn't really want to bother putting chicken feed into the game, even though chicken feed is in the shop menu. But technically, if you look, it's just wheat. So, so you can come up here. You can buy chickens from the trigger up here. Obviously, right now, you see you got your limit up here, 20000 And we got 10000 in here right now, and they're at $2. I have not messed with uh, the roosters, the eggling hens, or any of that type of stuff. The breeding, I haven't really touched that stuff. I've mainly messed with the meat chickens. So you buy them for a dollar, and when you go to sell them, you sell them for about 14 bucks. So you're making 280, 280k. And it costs about a hundred grand for feed if you buy your feed the way I have it set up on Flint Hills, and it costs obviously twenty thousand to buy twenty k chickens for a dollar. So you're looking at a profit of about 160 hundred sixty thousand bucks. But like I said, if you go and you combine and you fill your bins with all the feed, then it's you know depending on how many fields like liming and seeding and all that cost. I just uh, put a buyable trigger in town and I just go buy loads of uh, wheat and it's about 10k a trailer load. So it depends what trailer you're using and all that type of stuff. But I was trying to make it so that it did cost some expenses so you weren't making a ton of money. But So uh, the chickens also do take straw. Uh, right now I just put straw in a feed mixer. That's kind of the, the fastest way. Uh, the... The straw blowers, some of them work, some of them didn't. I don't know why some of them didn't. And they're, you know, the ones I was using was one bale at a time, so it wasn't really worth it. And these guys only take about nine or ten bales every nine days, so it's not that bad. So if we go look in our seasons menu here. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff here. Here is my chicken barn. So they're low on feed right now, so probably need to top them up. And uh, straw conditions, they're full. Now, estimated food required, this says 1.5 million liters. That's just estimated. That'd be for the year, I guess. That's that's not far off, but they are about roughly 500,000 every nine days. So they don't, uh, they're not a full season, obviously, right? So manure, we got 56,000 in here. <clears throat> By the end of it, uh, this might have been, I think I just placed a bunch of manure in here just so I could show you guys, but... Uh, regularly 
I think these guys produce about like 200,000 liters for the nine days. So there is, I did up the manure a ton because I wanted a lot of manure because I just, you know, thought that'd be awesome. I don't think they need any straw. Oh, they're taking a little bit. So I just like to top it up, keep the straw plane in here full. It don't really matter. It takes a long time for them to run out of straw, but uh, we're going to top them up with feed as well here so I did shorten this uh, Kenworth up quite a bit I still gotta make uh, even a shorter frame yet for what you see for Canadian trucks around here but uh, you know, always so many projects, I just never get to them, so. So, we're just filling them up. Oh, I guess we can turn that off. They should be full now if we look in our menu. Seasons menu. Yeah, and when you fill them all the way up with straw, the straw um, bar here disappears. But once they start using it, it comes back, so it's not that big of a deal. So right now they're taking 12,000 liters of feed. And I believe this is only like the second day or something. And that's only 10K in there. So that's half the feed. They they go through a lot. I think it's about 12 um, Willinga trailer fulls they go through when I tested it. So uh, then you got your feed here. And then I just got a little thing kind of going in. And then it disappears. But just kind of simulate feed going in the building. I uh, did take the Giants gas meter and then I built my own little uh, gas pipe coming out. So basically, when you place these buildings down, you cannot open this door from the outside. It has uh, a switch here. It has to be open from the inside only. Once you get in, you can open it, leave it open, whatever you want. Uh, we do got some air vents that go to the outside vents just for some ventilation. Uh, I'll show you how this all works. So we got feeders that move up and down. We got lights on and off. We got fans that open and close. Right now you see these fans are closed. We got the electrical lines coming to them. These fans open up and get pretty pretty loud in here, but I quite like it. Uh, heater exhaust. I haven't got exhaust figured out yet. I can't get smoke to come out of that. Uh, on maps, it's pretty doable, but on a placeable building, I have never seen anybody have. I mean, on Global Company, I can get it to work, but I don't want this building to be on Global Company. So, and without it being on Global Company, I'm not sure how to do that, but we also have heaters up here. Uh, they do turn on. I made them glow red. They obviously glow way more red than they would in real life, but I don't know. It's just uh, to simulate stuff, so... That doesn't look really. Hmm. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Maybe I didn't build those heaters quite centered. And I thought I centered them up here, and then the heaters off of them. But when you're down here looking up, it don't look. It's maybe just the line. The lines definitely aren't straight, but the heaters don't really look that straight either. I never noticed that before. I think they are. It's just the weird looking lines. Made sure I didn't blender, but all right. So, I'll go over here. This is your door. Come in. Open and close it. You know, you got lights come on the outside. I haven't really added much inside here. I might add some more stuff eventually, but... We got lights in here, so we, here's your light switch. Turns your lights off. Turns your lights off out there. And it's pretty simple. If you have your F1 menu open, <clears throat> which I don't, I have it hid right now, um, little toggles will come up. It will tell you lights on, lights off. Um, this raises and lowers your uh, chicken feeders. So now they're down. Um, they do not have collisions, so you can drive through them just in case you don't want to come in, flip them back up to put straw in or something. So I made them have no collisions. But, uh, and obviously for the manure too, yeah. 
So we got those. Um, these triggers are all right beside each other, so it's kind of nice to just step back and then step back in them. This is the fans. Now, the fans, the sound, and the fans. You guys seen the fans? They were all closed. Are you ready for it? Oh yeah. So now we got the we got this volume coming on, and I have the the fan volume like span out from the building a bit, so you have to get quite a ways away before you can't hear them anymore. You're gonna like this though. Oh yeah, look at those fans. So see, now that I've turned the fans on, the the shutters have opened up and the fan is spinning, and you get a lot of the nice sound. So I made these fans spin pretty fast, and then on the top, these ones also spin. So when you turn the fans on these top one ventilation fans also spin. They don't spin as fast, but they turn on as well. So we'll go out here. Still hear the fans. So you have to be kind of out here before you don't hear the fans anymore. So they, you know, the, what do you call them, the area around is quite big. I mean, I didn't want to make it so you could hear across the map, but I mean, you got to be able to hear them a little bit, right? So. So that's the fans. Oh, and we got a uh, little TPF sign built by NDMM. Lights up at night. Nice little addition for all my future buildings. And then this is the heaters. Turn the heaters on, which it only makes the heaters glow red is the only thing it does. So there you go. So that'd be something you turn on winter if you're going to do chickens in the winter. I did want exhaust coming out of the end because that'd be cool to have all this, you know, exhaust spewing off in the winter time. I mean, you're obviously not going to have this stuff on and you might have it in spring, but summer and fall and stuff you might not. So I just thought it'd be a cool addition to have, you know, heaters and stuff for the winter, but I still haven't got the exhaust to work. So, oh, excuse me, I'm a little tired, I guess. And yeah, so then basically you have straw and they'll make manure. Uh, I don't think anywhere in 19 where anyone's figured out how to scrape it out like it was in 17. So I don't worry about that uh, too much. Basically, uh, it just piles up here in the back. So obviously you got to get a telehandler or whatever set up. This is what I use. I made the doors big enough so you can get a telehandler in. Obviously, you can get a tractor in. You can't get a big wheel loader in, which you shouldn't. From what I've seen, you shouldn't be able to get. Like, some of the chicken barns I've seen, you can't even get a telehandler in them. But I didn't want, like, to haul manure with a skid steer or something. That just wasn't uh, it's too small for my liking, so. so this is kind of what I do for manure. I am going to do a single player series with the chicken barns. Obviously, I'm going to set up a different farm than where I'm at right now. <clears throat> Just because I don't really like how I set this one up. But I got a good idea to set up some other ones. I still have to build some, uh, like a feed mill area and stuff for my feed. So I can do my own feeding and stuff. It's kind of the plan anyway. Basically now, oh yeah, I got the, still working on the Massey as well. So pretty much what's going on with this building so far is it's 20,000 chickens uh, in single player. I haven't found any issues. It does take a while to load your single player game in when you have that many chickens. Um, I, I haven't tested if it affects your working in the fields with tractors and stuff. It has been tested on a server, and as far as we know, it's not going to work for servers. I uh, was using it on our multiplayer server, and uh, you can buy 20k just fine. But the more and more people that sign in, like, so when you're buying 20k, like, look at the visuals. You're only seeing, like, maybe 20, 30 chickens in here. When you buy 20k, the visuals don't change. But somewhere in Giants, it's writing 20,000 lines 
So for one person, that's probably not that bad. But then when another person logs on the server, the game has got to write the 20,000 lines for that person. And then the next person and the next person. So as more and more people were coming on, people were in the fields working. And the tractors, say you're planting at 8 miles an hour, the tractors were going down to 6 and 4 and 3 and 2. And then eventually, like, tractors were going 1 mile an hour in the field. And that was with 5 or 6 of us on with one barn with 20,000 chickens. So obviously, Giants has a 500 limit set for a reason. So that's where I'm kind of torn. It's like, well, how do I release this and it work for everybody? It's so right now I don't know how I'm going to release it or when I'm going to release it because it just it does not work for servers and I don't want to release something that's going to break your server game. So so far the options are take this barn down to 500 chickens because that's where the limit is or 511 that's the limit per building put it down to 511 and then just change all the numbers to simulate like you're doing 20,000 because if you're doing 500 chickens you make like $7,000 that's that's not even worth doing chickens in my in my opinion you're just doing it for fun then so I'm thinking maybe potentially like I said put the barn down to 511 or 500 whatever and then I will adjust all of the the buy the feed and everything so you'll still have the massive amounts of feed you'll still get the lots of manure I'll just up everything to match 20,000 chickens that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm going to do for so that it works on people's multiplayers and I'm thinking I still might keep a 20k version for single player obviously release two different versions so you know, make sure you don't download the twenty thousand dollar twenty k chicken barn, but we'll see. I'm gonna test it in single player and see if it slows down my tractors. And then if it does, then I'll just re- revert. I'll just do the five hundred across the board. But if it doesn't cause too many issues on single player, then it'd be kind of cool for people still to do the twenty thousand. But we'll see. I still gotta test it. I'm still unsure exactly what I'm gonna do, but uh, I think that's kind of along the lines of what I'm thinking right now so yeah other than that I don't really know what else to to tell you it's I had a lot of fun making these barns and I think they're they're actually kind of cool I mean they're could add so much more detail in here but it was already getting to be about uh, 1.4k vertices just with some of the different like fans and stuff and obviously 3d tin and so trying to keep that low as possible, and I think it's got enough detail for gameplay-wise. You're not going to spend a lot of time in here anyway, so not point packing in a lot of stuff that, you know, I think I packed in the right amount for gameplay, and uh, I've had a lot of fun playing around with them and using them, and hopefully it can make a lot of nicer uh, sheds and shops and stuff in the future as well, so... uh Thanks for watching, guys, and um, hopefully I'll get my single-player series started up here shortly, and you guys can enjoy some... uh, I think I'm probably going to start off with showing me building a farm first and go from there. So uh, have a good rest of your day, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.